The next thing I want to introduce you to is a tool of tracking protons and neutrons. So I'm going to make a key here. Oops. Protons, new, blue for neutrons. So in hydrogen three, so what, we, what we're going to draw is we're going to draw a line of before and afters to see what's happening, to track them. On the beforehand, we have one proton, and we have two neutrons. And afterward, what we have is we have two protons and one neutron. So we can track these across and see that, all right, that proton remained that proton. This neutron remained that proton. But in the process here, we had a neutron converting to a proton. And if we remember from a previous lesson, neutrons can decay to a proton and an electron. A neutron is one zero, a proton is one one, electron is minus one zero. So if we look at the top numbers, we have one equals one plus zero, and on the bottom we have zero equals one minus one. So it balances. So that's what what occurred in that reaction. In this next reaction, we had one proton. We have three neutrons. One, two, three, giving us a total mass of four. And afterward, we have a hydrogen one, which is one proton and two neutrons. And the other neutron is flung off. So we have no changing of neutrons and protons. In the next case, we have a proton and we have four neutrons. One, two, three, four. And afterward, we have one proton and two protons. Oops. Two neutrons, excuse me. And then two flew off. So we have a perfect accounting. Conservation of mass. Our next one, we have one proton before, one proton after, and then before, and we have six. One, two, three, four, five. We have five. And afterward, we have two. One, two. And then we see that three of them shot off. Five neutrons before, five neutrons after. In our next reaction, we have one proton, one proton afterward, five neutrons before, and afterward we have one neutron with four sailing off. And lastly, we have One proton before, one proton afterward. We have six neutrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. And afterward, we have two, leaving four more that traveled off on their own. These four. So that is how we balance these reactions, both in terms of the the formal reactions, and accounting for the neutrons and protons. Next, we want to take a look at the daughter products. Overall, in this reaction, everything either was, so when we had helium, when we had hydrogen three, it turned into helium three. Four went into hydrogen three, which will then turn into helium three.